Hey guys and welcome back to Firewatch. Let's continue on continuing on, shall we? Right, we're trying to get back down to our little uh it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh I, uh, bucket. Uh, I, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Excuse me? I'm absolutely sure. Would you? I hope she's not taller than All me. Right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Um, I'm not going to ask about that call. I'm just going to ditch that. <sighs> that would be my wife. Julia. Oh, like, like your wife, or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Huh. Well, there's an old shitter. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, <laughs> you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, I'm in the right area. Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. Alright. Well, we're trying to get up to that bluff. Up to the top of that bluff. So it seems. Yeah, it looks like it's been cut where it's supposed to... We're supposed to cross that bluff. Are you sh Really? You can't actually see that? Fucking hell. A pair of binoculars should be able to see that just fine. Oh, okay. That's not where we're supposed to be going, Stijo. Let's head back down. Cross down and round this way. Fucking beer cans. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Already go. Rude in Wyoming. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Fucking- mm, How adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. I can't even get that one. Can I? No. But damn it. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Oh my god, really? Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these 
idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. Was well, so it that way or this I way? They're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Um, let's go this way. Eat. Alright, two forks is back this way. Although there's a supply drop. Just two miles, point two miles to the north. Maybe we'll go and check out that supply drop first. See what that is. Yeah, it's just round here. Alright. Someone set it to nine. <laughs> wow. There you go. Nice. Okay, there's a grand total of zero supplies in here. Great. Right, let's head back down this way towards my uh towards my place. And see what we can get done. Ah, oh, these stupid fucking girls. I'm guessing it was them because it was a pair of their underwear that was sitting there. And the beer cans. Alright. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, Fine, good you could always pilfer it for supplies. Oh, hey, selfie. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left. Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. <laughs> oh no, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. Shit man, Ron! I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for the lookouts. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. Well, I'm bored 
as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? All right, there's a, a stone in there, and uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe Possibly. they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. That's funny. So if I didn't examine that antler, I would have got something different there. Heck is that? Oh, it's a, a fenced off area? Really? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh, that's weird. Uh... Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez, I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? <laughs> oh my god, goodbye. <laughs> next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. She's definitely got them jokes. Jesus. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Ooh, hearing noises, freaking out. See, it uses a disposable camera. Oh, why take a picture? I already took one. Right, where the heck am I? Right, well, I am heading south. I should go south into the east. So that I can try and get back to uh what does she have where that lake is she's got alzheimer's like um dementia whoa how old was she is she she's alive she's with her family in melbourne australia she's 43 fuck yeah what was it like when you guys found out uh, we were scared shitless we went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> you dirty beggar. Right. Let's go up here. It's so... I don't know, man. It's so kind of hard-hitting that he's... He's basically went from a relationship that basically destroyed him because of his wife's illness to coming out here and try to act like everything's alright. Uh, it's definitely rough, man. Definitely rough. Oh, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? <gasps> it's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Oh my. What do I call it? Looks like a. Uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Yes. Kurt Reynolds. <laughs> Well, now Best I can't name. wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Oh my god, Tart Reynolds! We're gonna be best friends. Oh my god, that is awesome. Oh, that cute little thing. Where are we going now? Oh, I've got a little pet turtle. Oh my god. And if we get hungry, soup. Alright, uh, well, let's head this way towards where we're supposed to be heading back to.
Actually, should I head towards the lake? I think that might be the right way to go. Right, where, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Right, if we head down here... Oh wow, he's... Oh, that, how cool is that? He's like hand wrote Widowmaker into it. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I like that. Alright, let's head down towards... Oh. Yeah, I have opened that one. Alright, okay, we're going the right way now. Must get really annoying. I keep pushing shift to sprint. Hey, do you see that? Yeah, I think so. That thin plume that of smoke. One. Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. What, you think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give them hell. We meet again, Widowmaker. You haven't beat me yet. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid <laughs> so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh, Already halfway down it. Does <laughs> the door have to? Well, he's halfway down the thing. God damn it, I really don't want to. I don't think I'm gonna do it. He's at the bottom. Alright. The nip down even lower. Snap. We did see it was a ways down, so. And we can always get back up. That's a good thing about having good ropes. That backpack must add a lot of rope, because that's already enough to fill up, like, any regular sized backpack, the amount that we've clipped on there. So, how'd you meet? I met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. <laughs> I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Where's the plume of smoke? Can't really see it. Let's see what's in this. Supply cash! Pretty wrecked supply cache as well. Ah, uh, combination locks are so silly. They're so easy to break into. Just through trial and error. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately. With most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking river? about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Holy shit. No, I did not know that. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. 
Hey, you awesome. You're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. The fuckers. Well, one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Huh. Alright, but unfortunately I'm going to have to call it an episode there, so do remember that if you've enjoyed this episode to drop a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more in the future, but I've been CG, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.